Hi, everyone. Welcome to um, our presentation regarding preparing for tomorrow, uh, managing the shift to vid AI video in workplace learning. Um, we are the company called Colossian, and uh, we are focused on text to video, so eventually the creation of studio quality videos from text. And uh, let's, uh, let's begin right away talking about a bit about myself. Um, I'm the CEO and founder of the uh, company. Um, I built one of the top AI video platforms now in the market uh, with five plus years of experience now in uh, building deep tech companies uh, with originally background uh, in AI research and mathematics. And I always had a love towards cinematography and visual content. So, you know, it, it drove me to work with the visual aspects of what we call today generative AI. This was back in 2018 when I was studying this whole topic. And uh, I always had a passion for education. My mother is a teacher. I was surrounded in this environment. And it's really kind to my heart that we can uh, ensure that our company is focusing on such use cases uh, to ensure that people can learn uh, better via the videos that we can produce. But why are we here today in in this presentation? What 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 can we learn? So, I have a right away a question for the audience, which is about why should you care about AI video? In my opinion, every learning designer will create video with AI. The only question is when, because AI is here. Uh, it already offers solutions that can uh, change our workflows, and uh, we would want to ensure that. Uh, um, we can simply create better content with it. Let's, uh, let's go through the uh, agenda for our session today where I can introduce some of the tra traditional methods of video creation for workplace learning and uh, a new concept called it iterative video. Uh, and after that, shifting to AI video eventually. And then we can talk about what's next and, and the Q&A in the end, uh, which is uh, disregarded now in this online session. but. Uh, in the in the conference, we will definitely have a Q and A. So let's uh, let's go ahead with the first one. So right away on this image, we see like a traditional setup with uh, very expensive cameras, microphones, lighting, and uh, as we all know, um, learning designers have to choose between low, low engagement text or high cost video because it's really not that scalable to create such content. Even if you have the budget, the process is slow and uh, the iterative aspect of it, uh, like it's really hard to gather feedback from your stakeholders, learners, and, uh, and create a new content accordingly. So traditional video uh, definitely has its benefits. I think the market understands that with video, you can learn much better because the engagement rate is higher. But with, uh, with text, you know, the creation process, process is much more easy easy and um, you can just go ahead uh, without any of these um, complex procedures. But now with technology, we can make AI, uh, sorry, sorry, video iterative. Um, you can see um, illustration of our product on the screen now, but the way you do it is you can essentially create your video from text, even the what, what the presenter has to say. So you don't need any cameras, actors, or studio at all. And this can make and ensure that you have such a better workflow because this reduces time and uh, the complexity that it takes to create, edit, and translate videos. Um, and you know, besides this clear cost saving, uh, the results are, of course, more feedback cycles and uh, and uh, greater learning uh, stakeholder satisfaction. So that's uh, definitely one aspect. And you know, like the cost savings is significant in this economic environment where each department is trying to cut costs. Um, with this technology, you are able to uh, eventually um, clear up those third-party vendor costs that uh, were primarily present for content creation. So we can see an example here uh, with uh, our translation module, which is quite strong uh, to create like a multivariant version of, of your video for example, in Dutch. So you can see that uh, uh, translation happened on the narration and also on the screen for the, for the video. Um, 
it's really important to also be able to create translated versions of your content because it increases um, loyalty towards the employer, employer from the employee's perspective. Now, we can also, of course, we are aware that how much text-to-speech technology advanced. So we can just remember when it sounded like this. And uh, eventually, uh, we, we can ensure, oh, I think there was like a technical error here with the screen sharing, but now uh, we can uh, we can fix it by also sharing the audio. All right, now it's uh, gonna be hard. So we can remember when, you know, the text-to-speech uh, sounded Hello. like this. How are you today? How can I help? But now, given that you listen to my voice, Hello. Uh, it's also... How are you today? How can I help? More realistic, so you can create your own cloned voice really easily. Now, uh, just showing uh, another example, example here of our colleague, right. David. So you have some learning objectives ready to go. Let's do this then. Now that you know what your video will be about generally, let's focus on the detail. What are the key points you need to make? Jot down a long list in your storyboard. As an example, the key points I jotted down while designing this bootcamp are Addy, Bloom's Taxonomy, just an example the Ages video model, Mayer's Multimedia like Principles. When, when you are using uh, like, a, like a, a real person, eventually he's one of our colleagues and we recorded him in a studio and you are able to create really high quality um, videos now just simply typing the text and also uh, like uh, aligning the the visuals on the on the canvas on the screen, so it's a uh, really a PowerPoint like experience. Now you're also uh, you also have the possibilities now to create videos from a prompt. Uh, we must have used tools like this now in the last few months, but uh, we also have such an availability, and I think it can really uh, produce a much better workflow because you can just uh, uh, spin up like a personalized template based on your prompt, uh, showing you an example about beekeeping here. So you can see now that uh, we can uh, create a video from a prompt and uh, we can put in a prompt such as how to keep bees. We can give all the kinds of specifications around tone, details, uh, the audience, or the number of scenes we want for the video. This is really um, like uh, personalized based on your approach and how you are able to uh, ensure that uh, the outputs will match your expectations. Now we can see in a second like the actual result. And I really believe in this uh, advancement because as you can, as you can see, um, it cuts your sort of preparation time and requirements uh, really easily and, uh, and you can uh, simply create simply create much better uh, videos. And uh, yeah, we arrived to section three, which is shifting to AI video. So the main question is how to shift towards it, how to, how to try this new technology. And uh, I would really wanna encourage everyone to get your hands dirty and try out uh, uh, like how it works. There are many ways to engage in free trials and uh, just set set out some success metrics for your team and prepare accordingly. Um, you can give it a try here as well to generate a video for free via using this QR code on the screen. Um, we have uh, on our product, for example, many templates available, uh, many um, like uh, pre uh, like de defaults that, that that can make the whole creation process easy. And uh, overall, I wanted to ensure that we are creating a product that can be used by anyone without technological or um, without technological or video editing experience. And uh, as I said, you can create it from template, PDF, PowerPoint, also Word doc soon uh, from a prompt and also from scratch. And uh, just to you know phrase some of these uh, capabilities, like uh, we haven't talked about scenario based learning. I'm going to have an example video coming up. So basically, you can also have multiple of these avatars or presenters talking to one another. I've shown you the instant translation. 
And collaboration is so important. We are living in a world where iterative feedback and, and, and iterations are so crucial. So you really have to work with your teams to be packaged all those features that are necessary for that. And uh, the fact that you can, all, of course, easily create a new video. Hi, and welcome to Colossian's Conversations. Just to show you the conversation mode example. And I'm Lisa. In this video, we'll demonstrate a simple conversation between AI avatars. You can adapt this video in any way you like and replace the text with your own unique script. Let's begin. Hey, Lisa. Welcome to our company. How are you finding it so far? Hey, so you can Grace. also modify Thanks. the angles it's and put them in the right day. position. It's my first time working at such a big company, so it's all very new to me. Do you have any tips for my onboarding week? Of course. I'm glad you asked. In fact, asking questions. So this allows a whole new world of possibilities, and this is how it looks like the in the editing flow. It's really easy to create such an uh, such a video eventually and an experience. Um, I really have a strong thesis that uh, in the future and in the coming years, um, you will still have to use such an editing flow, such an interface. It's going to be so hard to create specific videos that are in your mind that you can phrase just with prompts because prompts are so vague and uh, if you really want to specify them then already just using such an easy interface and and having uh, like easy adjustments and and uh, the software holding your hands and and guiding you it's just such a better experience in, in our view for content creation And you can see that, uh, for example, you can adjust uh, all these settings and also the way uh, they uh, stand in the scene. What's beyond the horizon here? So what are the next big advancements when it comes to this technology, this market? Um, interactive video, I, that's the full answer here. Um, I think um, everyone understands that video has much better engagements. And if we can make videos interactive, um, that's going to have a whole new um, effect on the ROI of, of such content. And uh, it's been really hard to produce interactive content because you would have to create like 100 uh, videos uh, that, that were shot in the, in the studio or you needed like a program that was able to support such, such a possibility. And we believe that if we can package these two together by adding branching scenarios, knowledge checkers, uh, then it's going to be like much better. And right now with this tech, um, like no one is able to do sort of real time rendering of the video and Colossian is coming up with that already in the next few months. So uh, we are much ahead of the curve and uh, we are doubling down on the interactivity aspect of, of video creation. Um, if you have any questions, you are uh, welcome to contact us here uh, by booking a demo or trying out the product itself. Use one of the uh, or the other QR codes and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone at the conference. Uh, feel free to email me as well. And, uh, and uh, thank you so much for listening. And, and uh, I wish you a great day.